So as you can see, you can uh, use three cu currencies here: the Webson coin, um, the Bound Red Zen. You can all get those by um, completing season quests, um, and here are the normal Red Zens. The first thing um, they didn't give any infos about if you can transfer Webson coins into um, Red Zen, and it's only two days left, so I'm kind of worried about that. Yeah, so with Webson coins, you can either buy those event packs. I think they won't be uh, you won't be able to buy those in uh, on the EU and a release. So um, you can buy. Uh, let's see, is it here? No. You can transfer your Webson coins to a Redson on the Korean server, and the CMs and GMs in Legend Discord keeps denying it won't be. Uh, you won't be able to do that on EU and A, so let's wait and see. Um, and here the the numbers here are won't be the same here for EU and A. Then we have here the um, where is it? Those are even stuff, so don't worry about that. But most of the stuff here you, you can wait a minute. Wait a second, guys. Oh. Free, free pets, guys! Free pets! Oh no, it's just 50k game. I mean, yeah, I will take it. So, those are even stuff, so they are for only for limited time, most likely. So now, go on, uh, move on to this here. So that's the gold and platinum time. Uh, the colors are um, different, so this is... Um, you can buy 30 uh, gold or platinum. This is platinum plus. So, the platinum plus is similar to Platinum on EU and A and the Platinum is similar to Gold on EU and A. You can either buy 30 days or 90 days here and you will get a little bit discount. But the important stuff here is you can only buy those for Webson coin. And it makes sense actually because if it's if you could buy it for uh, Red Zen, no one would buy uh, or spend money on this game uh, or mo most likely no one will sp spend money on this game. Uh, because you can just earn red sand by selling um, items in the auction house for uh, you can decide if you put an item in the auction house you can decide if you want to sell it for the in-game currency the zen or for the item shop currency currencies the red sand so you can earn red sand and buy uh, the platinum or gold time if it were for red sand so it makes sense that it's only viable for webson coins so that they can they can earn money so everyone has to buy webs and coins and then uh, purchase the gold and platinum time. Uh, then we have here stuffs like... Um, we won't have this one. They have another platinum gold system. You have to rank up your platinum system. So I don't. I won't talk about that one because it's not necessary. So you can um, buy here name change tickets, uh, character name change tickets. You can buy here um, guild name change tickets. The uh, reason why you have it Two times is one is for uh, bound red sen as I said, and one is for the normal red sen. Um, and the stuff you can buy with bound red sens are limited. You most li most of the st stuff in the item shop can be bought um, with red sen. So let's move on to the mount here. They have all the same stats: hundred percent movement speed increase. So just um, how they look like. The difference is how they look like. And as you can see, you can also buy some mounts by uh, Bound Red Sand. But it's pretty hard to get Bound Red Sand, Red Sand so it's much easier easier if you just pay um, yeah, buy, buy uh, Red Sand by using real life money or by selling items in the auction house. It, that will be much faster. So those are the mounts. 100% mov movement speed increase. And we will get, I think that we will get this one with the founder pack. In my opinion, this is the best looking one from all of this year. This one looks like uh, the one uh, from Lord of the Rings. Star Wars. <laughs> this is okay, so... And I hate this one, it's kinda look... Shitty. Just in my opinion, guys. So, now we have here the um, wings. As always, the wings have the same stats, the cosmetic wings. We are talking about the cosmetic wings here. Those are limited, as you can see. Those are for the Halloween event, and um, you won't have those, I think. 
And this one is the best looking one. This looks crappy. I don't like this one too. So this one suits the, is looking really good. And as you can see, we have here 10% movement speed and 10% MP cost reduction. And um, on EU and A, it is only 3%. If uh, if Alex is right or if the um, screenshot which was posted in the Mo Legend Discord from a CM, if it's really correct, then we have only 3% bonus. Uh, and here's the difference between the cosmetic wings and their uh, founder pack wings. The founder pack wings are permanent. The cosmetic wings you can buy. Um, actually, both are cosmetic wings. But if you buy it on uh, on the item shop or in the item shop, you're gonna get it only for 30 days. And after 30 days, you can either buy um, another wing. This one will uh, will you won't be able to equip that anymore. Or it will automatically de-equip, and you have to buy another wing, or you can just extend it. But the price is the same, so you can just. Uh, um, buy another ring every month, so but or you also you can buy uh, three of those extending uh, extend items. They're gonna extend your wings for 30 days, and you will get uh, here you will get 300 reds and discounts. So yeah, if you want to keep the same wings for more than three months, you most likely you should buy this one. Same goes for the cosmetic armor. Um, they have HP plus five percent and attack plus five percent. I think the numbers here are the same, uh, same like in EU and A. Um, so there's no nerf, and same system like uh, uh, like the wings here. You, they are only for thirty days, and you're gonna have to extend those with these items here. Then we have the loot, pet loot, pet not loot, the pet box, the pet random box. As far as I know, the worst pet you can get is tier, Z, uh, tier 1, so still better than the tier 0 pet from the founder packs. And the best pet you can get is, I think, tier 3. I'm not sure if you can get tier 5, but I'm, I think it's only up to tier 3. And um, you can either borrow 1 for 150. As I said, the numbers are incorrect for EU and A. They will change, most likely. And uh, you will get, if you buy 11 pets, you will get actually 1 for free, if you compare the numbers here. Or you can also buy here evolution stones. Actually, I won't buy those here. They are pretty easy to get or to craft if you, if you farm um, Fabrice Garden. If you're lucky, you will get those uh, immediately. If not, you have you will have, get fragments and you have to craft them. Uh, twenty fragments. If you twenty fragments, you can craft a evolution stone by the crafting NPC. So um, I would either buy the pets here than spending money on uh, evolution stones. Then we have the potions, so um, yeah, those are used to recover 50% max HP over 5 seconds. You can uh, get a weaker version of that uh, in Fabrice Garden, it will give you 30% of your max HP back. And the normal potions you, which you use, they have a different cooldown than this potion, so you can activate the normal potion. And um, if you need, you can activate this too, so they won't go on cooldown if you use the normal potions. But the, 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 those two are in the same category, so if you do use this one, this one will go on uh, cooldown too. So this one is with the one which you can get um, from uh, Fabrice Garden or other dungeons. You can get those drop. It's only 30% max, uh, max HP. HP. Uh, let me check. We have here the defense potions, the buff potions. Uh, so the numbers are much higher. Usually you will only get the uh, weaker version of those with 30%. Uh, let's check. So those numbers are higher than the potion you can get dropped. Um, the potion, you, for example, the potion here, um, I think crit chance was only 3%. I'm not sure anymore. But it's also possible um, that you can get those dropped in, in, um, from, the, from the cubes. You can get those from the cubes, guys. And I remember now. You can get those from the cubes. Especially from the library cube and from the mythic dungeon cube. You can get those here. Those are... I don't think... Uh, you can get it from quests, but those are really rare to get, guys. Those are... Uh, th th those will increase your defense against a certain type of mobs. So here against magic type, against mut mutant and demon and so on. So they, they, are, they are... You can activate one defense potion and one uh, offense potion at the same time. Um, you won't be able to activate a health recovery, a recovery or a, a, a HP 
and cooldown reduction at the same time they will override the the if you activate this as second one this one will override the uh, the first one you activated so keep that in mind and the last category or oh, not the last there's one more but that one is not usually um yeah it's it's okay so this one is here uh, the imprint scrolls um I won't explain the imprint scrolls here. I already did it in some other guides, I'm pretty sure. And those are obviously better than the shitty imprint scrolls you you can get uh, from every monster. So those are rare and you can also buy um, legendary imprint scrolls, I think. Wait, wait a second. I think those are the legendary one and those are the rare. Legendary scroll, legendary. I think those are better than this one here. So um, with those, you have the chance to get more than one stat if you print something and a higher rarity. That should be enough. So we won't have this one here. I don't know what this is. Um, what's that? Imprint scrolls. So you can see here, you can buy it either with uh, red sand or with uh, bound red sand. So those are the one of the items you can get with bound red sand. Uh, red sand. Here we have the white scroll. Those are the scrolls which will reduce the chance that your enchantment will fail. Most likely, guys, you're gonna use that to enchant uh, your equipment above plus seven. So you will reduce the chance that it's gonna fail, and also it will reduce the chance. So if it reduces the chance to fail, um, it automatically reduces the chance that your items get destroyed after plus seven. So it won't. Uh, it won't, uh, it, it's not a scroll like 100% chance of succeed or if you fail, uh, it won't drop back. It's not like that. At least if I can trust the uh, description here. And what is that? Oh, it's for transcendent stones. Um, those are end game games, guys. You're gonna get it later. Uh, you, do, you don't have to <laughs> um, know about that at the early or mid game. And the last category here is, um, those are, I think this is for Pit of Death, but we won't be able to enter Pit of Death at the beginning. So those are entry keys. Um, I think you can only use once, uh, you can only use it uh, two times per day. Um, then we have the Resurrection Stones. Those are the thing, uh, you need those hammers to, um, if you want to, if you have a really good gem in your uh, equipment and you want to change it with another one, usually the the one you have already uh, equipped or put in your uh, in your equipment will get destroyed. But with the hammer, you can extract it without destroying it. So that's for that. And this is the unbind scroll. So if you have a plus ten mythic and you have a plus ten set item now and you want to change it because you you will most likely un um, unlock the set bonies. So you can equip the set item and just unbind your mythic item which you don't need anymore and sell it to uh, in the auction house um, those are for world chat yeah that's it guys that's the item shop here in korea a lot of items here will